Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're at CES and we're gonna show all the tech that's coming, that's coming to change our life for better or for worse. Let's go. This was printed out of uh, with a metal 3D printer. Hey everybody, we're back in the press room and we're just kind of mulling on some things that we learned on this trip. And I can't help but be uh, not afraid, but uh, a little weary, uh, a little worried, I guess, of the future. Um, and I know I had somebody in the comments already say, I've never seen a CES video of somebody, you know, casting it in a negative light. Well, when I look at this, I see, I see uh, facial recognition. I see, you know, the green agenda being pushed like crazy. Uh, I see jobs being lost to this technical, autonomous uh, movement that we're absolutely in. And there's one thing that really kind of stuck out to me was when it comes to self-driving vehicles, autonomous driving vehicles, uh, they don't have to be electric. We looked at some cameras that you could put on an 18-wheeler and it would show four of them, just four cameras, and it would show you all the way around it. And all you would need after that was the autonomy part of it. So it doesn't even have to be electric. We don't even have to be there with the batteries and everything. You know, for some reason, everybody thinks, okay, 18 wheelers are gonna have to be electric to be able to be autonomous. But that's not the case, it doesn't look like to me. Um, and we're just not ready. The power grid is not ready to start pushing everything on electricity, just fact, uh, no matter what they wanna tout. So now you've got 18 wheelers that can drive by their self. And you've got this uh, AI coming around the corner. And, and this is, for real, this is gonna replace so many jobs. We're talking about accountants, we're talking about uh, la labor, like uh, welders. They're already being replaced. Those, those have been out for a long time. But they're gonna get cheaper. Technology always makes everything cheaper. Uh, there's several others I can't think of. We were looking at a dump truck earlier today, and uh, it was huge, massive. It had six foot tires on it, maybe more, maybe six and a half foot. And um, it was autonomous. The, the gamers that are good at video games will be able to drive the dump truck to where it needs to be. Now this is a big dump truck for mining, you know, gold and silver and really big uh, coal and stuff like that. Uh, they'll be able to drive it over there and, you know, and drive it back, point A to point B. I can see that pretty easy. Uh, but the other thing was the excavators. Now, I think we're a little ways from there because uh, I've run several excavators and it just doesn't seem like that would be really hard to, to dig a ditch or, or a trench or because, uh, you know, there's so much going on that you'd have to see. But I'm telling you, it's coming. And it's hard to see this futuristic stuff. It's hard to really wrap your mind around it. But I'm telling you, uh, this is, it's very obvious these people uh, don't care. They don't care what their electronics do to the future. They, they're just happy that they're, they're in it. You know, they're happy they're here. They're happy they've got a spot at CES and they could care less of what anybody else thinks. That's kind of the way I looked at it when I was here. And we're here for a couple more days, but it's gonna be, um, there's gonna be a lot to talk about in the future when it comes to this stuff. And I'm gonna try to keep an eye on it. Um, the Uber drivers, taxi drivers, uh, you guys are on the cut list, sorry. And copywriters, copywriters is a good one. A designer, that's a good one. Uh, uh, customer service. <laughs> That'd be so easy for AI to take over. There isn't any. And not that there's any anyway, that's right. Physicians. Would you want a doctor working on you that's uh, seen 
I don't know, 5,000 patients in his career or some, or an, an AI doctor that your, your doctor consulted that had seen uh, equivalent of 10 million, 100 million cases of the same thing that could consume that knowledge and, and print out what to do to you or how to, how to treat you. You know, this is really, really, uh, it's a strange environment that I just don't know how it's not gonna make things get cheaper for us, for, for the working man. It's gonna make their wages cheaper. If, you're, if you think you're gonna pay the same operator that gets up and goes to work and drives a dump truck out of mine, the same as a guy that's gonna sit on a couch and play it with joysticks, it's not gonna, I bet it's half price. I bet they get paid half. You know, the skill will not be there. Electronics take that out. And I, I can talk about this pretty deep because I'm building a, a skid at my shop right now in my welding business and I was able to get it laser cut and laser broke with laser, um, I'm not sure how you say a laser break's what they call it, but literally they cut it all out, they jam it in this break, and they line it up to what the screen says and it breaks it. Spin it around, line it up, and it, it cut off. I mean, the box that would have taken me one day to build can take me about 45 minutes now. I mean, that is some serious, time cut off of the job. And it's gonna be like that in all industry. It's gonna affect every industry, for sure. Uh, some more than others, the ones I mentioned more than others. But in a nutshell, that's what I've learned at CES, and it's, it hasn't been a lot of fun for me. Uh, I guess because I'm, I'm not a real geek, you know what I mean? I'm not geeked out on electronics and, and stuff like that. So this is, uh, it's been an eye-opening experience, and I'm, and I'm glad I came. And I'm glad I got to show you guys a lot of the stuff that, that you've seen so far. But uh, just know it's coming, it's in the mail. There's no turning it around, the cat's out of the bag. If you haven't seen The Social Dilemma, I, I recommend you gathering up all your kids and grandkids and wife and everybody and watch it. It's real simple, it's real easy. It won't take that long and I think you'll really enjoy it. It'll give you kind of an idea of what's coming because it's all, that, what they were talking about, it's already in the past and it's already here. So guys, have an awesome, awesome day. I will see you in the next one later.